I just wanted to do a wee video to show you how you might match transactions using a pivot table. So you'll see here we've got a list of customers who've purchased items, some have paid, some have not. And if, for example, you were trying to find out who has paid, who's squared away, who's got a zero balance, what's the quickest way to do that? And I think one of the best ways to do this is by creating a pivot table to essentially match the positive and negative numbers. So how I do that, I'm just going to go into insert and then pivot table. I'll choose a, a new worksheet just to keep it nice and simple and away from your data set. Easiest way to do it, just dra drag down customer and that's your list of customers and then drag down the balance which will add them. To get rid of this and to format it properly, we just have to right click in column B, value field settings, number format. We'll change that to currency with two decimal places and then click on OK. So now you'll see there that you have got a list of all your customers, those who've still got a balance against them and those who've got a zero balance, which means they have paid. Within your pivot table, we can also do some filtering. So for example, and just to make more room, I'm just going to insert a column. You'll see why in a minute. So if I just go into the, the, the filtering option here and go to value filters, and let's say we're looking for those who've paid, who've got a zero balance, we just click on equals and just put in zero. And that will return all the customers who have a zero balance. If you want to know those who have still amounts outstanding, back to filter, just change the value filter to greater than and let's go for, I don't know, one pence, like that and click on OK and that brings all the customers who still have a balance and you know, you can just clear, clear all the filters from here and that's you back to your list. So just a way of looking at all your transactions from a list with everything in the one column and how you might very quickly put it into a pivot table and then analyse it that way. So I hope that helps.